Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is From the Depths. And I'm just on one of the little small resource forts, which is quite happily sucking all of the uh, resources from the uh, resource point we're in to feed the voracious appetite of the uh, fleet's fuel and um, ammo capacity. So uh, this is one of the smaller ones, not got all of the big guns. Uh, but it's got a couple of um, small guns just in case. This is more slightly behind the front lines. But we're not here to talk about resources. Although I've got to say, it's a, a bit of a pain when you're trying to build lots of ships suddenly. Having to set out a lot of uh, ships to lots of places to pick up the resources. Um, but if we go to the map now. And I'll just take this out of play. Um, so as you can see, I've still got lots of resource merchant ships going all over the place, bringing resources back to our Atlantis, where most of our building is done. And um, although, you know, at this higher level with big ships, it takes a lot of resources to do all these repairs. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to kick some crap from the um, out of the uh, steel striders. And what I have done uh, for this episode is I've created a new fleet called the Scribe Quills. Now, this is basically all of the air-based ships uh, that have been submitted, plus a few which I have modified. Um, the reason for this is we've got some landlocked or, or fairly landlocked areas coming up where... Um, if we were to put in our ship force, which is down here and staying down here, we'll end up, half of them, being beached on the uh, um, land, basically. Um, so, And there's also good chance that the enemy will be sending in aerial forces against us. So, what I have done is, A, uh, produce lots of ships which are in the list, which have been um, submitted. I've also modified a few. Um, to make them, the, the, some of them like um, a torpedo bomber, I've actually created a, a second version of it with normal infrared missiles. Uh, there's a, a mine layer where I've put some infrared missiles, just have a bit of fun with it. I've just mucked around with a few of the uh, basic designs, just to try and make them a bit better for this particular purpose. Uh, the other change going forward is I've created a reserve fleet. Now the reserve fleet is filled with ships which have come out of uh, and have come out of either of these fleets and are uh, basically destroyed. And uh, instead of removing them totally, I'm just going to move them and repair them in the reserve fleet, and they'll be there just as a well reserve. So uh, we can use them later in a big zerg at some point on one of the bases, or if we need a little extra firepower, we can bring them in. Um, so that was the, the idea or decision I made on that one. But today, or in this episode, we're going to look at our support fleet. Now we're up against 412, which is bigger than this ship here, and we've got a lot of small craft here. So what I'm going to do is to bring up the Atlantis as well, because it's got some good guns, and hopefully that will be part of the fleet at the same time. So we're going to bring that up so that it's in range to be able to be act, enter the battle. It'll also act as a resource supply for our forces, which will be handy as well. So um, it will be re, uh, repairing and, and ref, um, re, uh, refueling, etc., all of the ships. Um, so, without f too much f and further ado, we'll move our ships up to the borderline. And then we will move our main fleet, which I think if I just take it over the border, and then we'll see what we're up against. Um, the castle is going to be the main ship, and then I'm just going to basically randomly bring some ships in. We're not, um, I'll do them roughly in order, but there's no a real amazing order. Maybe some of the small ones, bunch them up, see how we do, and have a bit of fun. So let's see what we come up against first and see what type of enemy we are going to be against. Hopefully uh, we won't have any problems and I won't have to restart this. Uh, hopefully everyone's going to get fuel and start unloaded. Um, all their weapons have been sorted previously, fingers crossed. I've uploaded some people who had submitted updates uh, to the system. So uh, 
hopefully, with any luck, we should get a good battle. Okay, so we've got someone right down here straight away. That's interesting. And what have they got? Let's put this on slow-mo just for a second. And also, let's uh, angle our ship towards them. And also the Atlantis as well. Uh, to give us the best possible chance of attacking them. Uh, so actually, we've got a few aircraft and a few ships. Okay, well, this could be interesting. I think we could have some fun with this. A trident, which... Uh, what's a trident? Not sure what a trident is. Uh, what, is what have we got? An oracle. Look like, looks like arachnids, which I hate the arachnids. As you now know. Oh, no. Anularis. Anularis. Now, there has been a big update of Type 19. There has been a, a big update to a lot of the uh, the vehicles. So, it could be interesting. Some Hornets. They're going to be tough. Hornet is a... is a can be a pain in the arse. Because um, it's really fast. So, this is going to be an interesting look at how some of these ships will work in the game. So, without further ado, let's start this battle. Oops, I'll put it up to fast speed. Okay, back back to normal. Okay, so... It's actually about 50-50. Um, okay, I like a 50-50 battle. I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, I am going to bring our armed merchant in, although I'm going to put him at the very bottom of the list. Um, so, let me just sort out the spawn order in this here and I'll be back once I have something that looks approaching a reasonable spawn list so see you in a well for you a few seconds for me mostly about 15 20 minutes okay so we have our fleet sort of sorted so now it's time to start the uh, attempt at me to to uh, t say everybody's name and totally butcher that um, so yes I will be getting people's names wrong. I could look it up, how to pronounce it properly, but it's far more fun making up my own language and getting it totally wrong. If you have a problem, tough. So, um, without further ado, um, we will start the battle, see how this goes, see if we can uh, uh, get some um, traction, see what they come against us. I've got a mixture of ships to start with, some small ones coming in. I've split up into some smaller groups and then clumps of some of the larger vessels coming in. As they spawn in, I will try to say who they are. Um, I've picked some of the, the, some larger ones just at the start. Um, just for the moment, just to get a possibly a bit of headway on this, uh, see how they do. And I may change it and adjust it depending on what we uh, get in. But um, let's start this and see how we do. Let me sh make sure I am on the, the uh, uh, castle, ready to um, do this. Okay. So, let's begin. Right, definitely off of that. Let's make sure I everything is on combat. There we go. So, what we have in here is... That's the air sniper, I think it is, from Krokov. Oh no, the air defender, I think that was. Um, from Krokov. And he's taken a bit of a hit straight away. Uh, we've got the junkers in by the looks of it. And also a ship and whatever that is. I think that might be a raptor. So we've got a few ships in already. And, oh, we've got Hornet as well. That Hornet is a pain. And it looks like the uh, castle is, is taking a bit of a, a beating at the, at, at the beginning here. This is not looking good for the castle. He has not um, got height, it looks like. Um, yeah, he did not get up in the first place. So his weapons didn't go by, but you can see all of the cannons coming in from the uh, ships. Uh, okay, this is not good. Okay, I will spawn back. Looks like the castle is having some serious problems from the very beginning. It did not survive that initial. It turned its back basically on that ship and the uh, 
uh, Hornet here, which is, as I say, is a very uh, dangerous weapon, um, and got taken out, but frankly, um, not good start for us. Let me see if I can bring some um, ships in just to um, try and get some leeway on what's happening. I'm going to bring in some of the smaller ships, Anderson's um, fighters. There's a number of them. They're, they're small ships, but it might be just enough to get some leeway, maybe. Uh, take some of the thing. We've got some torpedo bombers and um, some let's see uh, let's see and we, there's some that I put an infrared missile in instead of the um, mines and we'll see how they do but yeah the uh, castle did not survive here it's still in it is still in here um, it's just looks like it's gonna be down at any time now. So a bad start for us so far. Although we have still got people firing and we are doing a bit of damage. The uh, torpedo bombers, because they're, they're still going for that castle, although it is repairing itself, the uh, torpedo bomber um, is getting a bit of damage in. Oh, looks like I got damage again. It's down to 51%, but it's not not dying. Right, I'm going to try and get somewhere where I'm not going to die from a missile, and I can still repair. Someone's bombing... Is that Junkers up there? It's, it's, it's mining the heck out of me. Okay. I'm being depth charged. That's not very nice of you, mate. Right, what have we got in at the moment? Um, still there, that needs a little bit more. I might have to bring in some more. Let's bring in the mine. These are some small... Um, from... Frank again. And I also, with his, I created an infrared version with some infrared uh, instead of, of mines. So let's get some of these small ships in and let's see if we can zerg the heck out of um, their forces. So we've got lots of little ships coming in now. So they're going to be dropping mines and infrared missiles and the hope is um, they're a nice little wooden vessel, only 200 blocks. Let's take off that. And you can see they, they just go around and they will get over, head over something and then just drop some mines. I then also created an infrared version, uh, which is over here, which flies a little higher and flies and fires an infrared missile at uh, targets instead. So, and we have the torpedo bomber here as well. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like he reloaded in time, which is a pity, but there is a mine drop. So some mines, they're magnetic mines, so hopefully they'll get pulled back towards that ship. But the idea at the moment is they will just drop enough of them that it will cause problems. And it is getting damaged. It is taking some damage, which is good. Although it does on occasion look like we are attacking our own vessels, which is not always good. Right, this is the switchblade. Let's see how the switchblade can do, see if it can come back and switch this around. We have taken a lot of hits, but their vessel here, is this the Anulis, or what is this? This is the Type 19. It's taken a little bit of damage, but not very much. The mine layers, oh, that's a good mine drop. And he's got torpedoes coming into him as well. Go on, catch up. Go on, make it. Go on, catch up. Finally, at the end. And we have the Mark 1 choppers. Now, I did make some changes to these from the uh, start. Uh, they've got infrared missiles, so they should be okay. Uh, I did sort of try and make them stop spinning around a little bit uh, so we'll see if they can survive and do a bit of damage here 
we're definitely on yeah we're not we've got plenty of, of, of troops yet to come in we we started off bad here though it was not a good start for us and they are firing they have fired their missiles they're going for that yunkers up there who is the one that did a lot of damage against um, my own ship oh no they've uh, they have change target they've gone for the flares unfortunately so any problem with infrared missiles they uh, do go for the flares let's go back over here and see how these th these these are the little um, uh, air mine layers luft air uh, I get, which I'm guessing is what this stands for are doing quite well because they're difficult to hit and they're just harassing at this type 19 coming over dropping missiles and various other items at this uh, Type 19 every now and again. Whoops, a bit of night time. He is taking them out though. They are steadily being taken out, unfortunately. It doesn't help that the castle just got taken out straight away. That was, um, that was poor. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. That was uh, something... Obviously, the ERA and everything else on that did not stand up too much. It it um, it didn't work, basically. <laughs> I think the main bit is it turned its back on this Type 19, uh, and the rear of it did not um, survive. I don't know why it turned its back. It was obviously a, trying to face what it thought was the main threat, and um, it didn't face this particular vessel here instead. Uh, I must admit, I didn't test it against ships. I mainly tested it against um, aircraft. So that may have been the problem there. Okay, what have we got in? Is it mainly this Type 19? Oh, sorry. We've still got quite a few ships in. Uh, with some more coming in. We've got quite a few more of these small ones as well. Uh, we are behind though. We need to get some damage. We've, we've taken out a few of their smaller ships. Uh, but they've still got quite a few large vessels in. Let's see, one chopper looks like it's unfortunately down. Uh, but it did do a bit of damage. And we've got some of our infrared firing ships here as well. And, oh, they're just going for the, mi the flares. If they can fire when he's already fired flares, that would be excellent. You can see them, our, our guys, they're flying around. Our battle has got a bit split up here. It is this Hornet. The Hornet, and I think that's one of our harassers. That's the modified harasser who's doing reasonably well. Although that Hornet is a very powerful ship. It's very fast, has good cannon and missiles. It's a, it's a good combination. Uh, it flies very well. Um... Whoops, got a bit of a stutter now. Uh, it does that every now and again. Uh, so it's faster than most missiles. It's, as you can tell, it flies very well. Can our, uh, we, you've got to get a good lucky hit. And you can see it's got some good cannons on it. Now, will that be enough? He fired some missiles just at the last moment. No, they look like they're going for our own vessel here. And harasser. Oh and uh, not quite enough so that hornet could be a problem okay let's go and have a look at the type 19 we have a two damaged sustained by repairs over there and that could be that type 19 it could be we've actually finally taken out one of their large vessels which would be nice to see it's saying sustained by repairs. What is this? Oh no, no, this is a diff. Oh no, this is something else. So what is this? This is the Anularis. Oh, it's a nice carrier. So obviously it's going to be spawning in um, another advanced fighter. Not necessarily good for us, that. Uh, this is where the Type 19 is being harassed by the uh, mine layers. He, he's not taking them out too much. But they're... are they, are they doing it? He is a, he is a wash a bit. A 
but uh, he's definitely laid down. You know, they are laying laying the mines and getting uh, um, some good hits in. See them go in. So they are steadily getting the hits on him. It's just not quite enough. Although you know, it looks like there's there's a lot of debris behind him. They're certainly trying their best. He can't get his guns um, to aim at them, which is good news. So we may eventually, just given enough time, take them out. What else have we got to come in? Uh, we've got an air sniper. Let's we'll see how that comes in. Um, some of his, his missiles, are they connecting? Not quite. If they can outturn them, and our ships are repairing each other, although, ow, yeah, that one hurt. The battle is a bit spread out at the moment, so I'll just concentrate over here until we get the air sniper come in. Another nice little mine launch. I like I like these. I like the little little um, small ships. You know, it's just, it's doing a, 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 a just little bits of damage at a time, bit pinprick, but they're adding up. be honest we just need some other vehicle to uh, come and finish it off uh, so I wonder if I can do this I don't know if that really works too much but we'll see if we can get some of those other ships to come over and uh, try taking them out let's make sure everyone is on combat uh, that's supposed to be yeah Oh, we have the Harasser is coming in. I think this is the Harasser Mark II from Krokos. Let's see if he can do something to finish off this uh, uh, Type 19. He might have enough power. His, his missiles are a little bit late there, but he has got quite a few missiles that so might just be enough to, to take him out. To critically damage him, which would be good. Oh, looks like one of the uh, one of those has got in. Where have we got the slight snipers? Almost in. Uh, we got the harasser Mark II. We still have a chopper in, but they are obviously taking a bit of damage. We're still got a few ships left, so we're far from we're far from beaten. Far from beaten. We will we will prevail. Well, we'll persist. I don't know if we were actually... They must have got... The, these were all coming back. That says to me they finally got the Hornet. Or it was my all-target. So uh, I might try doing that so everyone sort of... Um, concentrates on one vessel. So that should mean we're going to get quite a bit of damage coming into this Type 19. Which will be good. Because we want to destroy you. Yes, he's, he's taking a, a fair amount of damage now hopefully more mines coming in oh serious two drops of mines there nice nice mine drop and there's another mine drop and Harassa did another drop of of missiles although they do appear to be going for the uh, the carrier rather than sh this ship here but uh, that's fine fair enough i think this this type 19 is fairly is, is, is pretty much done i think he's gonna be they've just got to hit something a little critical and he's gonna be out of it he's gonna start sinking soon i wouldn't be surprised
Yeah, taking serious amounts of damage. Okay, I think he's he's just about out of it now. So I think we'll start targeting this carrier next, I think. Let's, let's put everyone on to target this guy here. I think that would be a, a good idea. Let's put everyone over here now. Start doing him some damage. Yeah, he's health low and sinking so that's cool so let's get some damage in in here get everybody zerging the heck out of out of this guy uh, everyone on combat cool yes have we got any new ships come in let's see um I th well if the air sniper I've got to say if the air sniper came in um he disappeared disappeared again so I don't know what happened there um Pity. I'm going to bring in the, and, uh, a, a torpedo bomber. Anderson's torpedo bomber, I think, is going to be ideal for this sort of ship. Get some torpedoes in there. Yep, come on, mate. Come around and drop those torpedoes. Nice plane. I do like it's a classic plane shape. Oops, he obviously was a bit too close. Hopefully, he'll get a chance. The switchblade seems to be having a few issues. Um, that would be because his guns have been knocked out, but hey-ho. I think he did drop his torpedoes. They were a bit late, but he did drop them eventually. Oh, as it had been said, short burst in incident there. Um, that was not good. You guys, you are not supposed to crash in. Now, the good bit is I did put some repairing uh, tentacles on each of these. So as they fly over, they will try to uh, repair their compatriots. But I think that's a lost cause, frankly. Um, I don't think you're going to repair much there. And we've got some nice shots coming in there. Although he did take a bit of damage. It was a bit of a swordfish moment. I think now there's so many coming in at the same spot. They're all, um, they're all um, getting close. Here's the harasser come over. So our air mine drop, um, air mine uh, from Frank have done very well in general, I've got to say. Um, they they, they uh, came in at just the right spot with mine drops like that one just did there just to keep it the ships off balance and uh, give the other ones a chance to get rid of that hornet and then finally come in and um, get rid of the ship so excellent little move there um, nice little ship as I say I like them Switchblade, yeah, is, is just unfortunately taking a bit too much damage. I think, unfortunately, there. I'm not sure that the harasser's gun is actually working. Let me go and have a look at that for a second. And that... Ooh, no, is that that carrier? That's not that carrier. Is that that carrier? Mm, might be that carrier. Well, they seem to have taken that carrier out eventually, which is good. Uh, the harasser's gun, the ammo input, hadn't been assigned to a shell type. So that's why that wasn't working as uh, well as it should. So what have we got here? Uh, we have something which appears to be upside down. Uh, it might be a sabre that's actually upside down. Yes, it is. So we'll see now whether this harasser's gun, it had been using its missiles, but uh, hopefully its main gun should now start loading, which would have been handy um, when we came across this but these mine droppers that because they've got the underneath which is normally wouldn't be expected to be showing it's blown the crap out of the AI which is excellent and oh big carrier very nice big carrier 
and he's launched an aircraft and what is this this is the trident oh let's just see what we've got in we still got the harasser um what haven't we brought in under bringing one of the shostakovich bombers i think next um as a a priority oh we've taken out a helicopter that that uh, was trying to be launched by the looks of it and they took out the um, aircraft before it could be uh, take off properly which is good and now we have that looks like a harasser launch has come in and taken off a good chunk of the front of the aircraft Aircraft? Well, he's made a bloody great big hole in the runway. You will not be taking off from this now, will you? And he's going underwater. And what have we got firing in? Ah, that was the guns from the harasser are now coming in as well. Very nice. So that, you could sort see all that coming in a nice little uh, um, extra bit of damage. And then the missile swarm. We like missile swarm. So we've got two totally different um, types of ship have done very well in this so far. My own one has done particularly shit because it, uh, uh, excuse my language, it, but it did because it turned its back on the enemy, the cowardly little so-and-so, and it will be reprimanded. Um, but we have the high speed, lots of ammo and uh, big gun harasser. And then we have the slow, mine lad, just drops a few missiles, but there's lots of them i.e. lots of the vehicles uh, and they have both done very well against um, these steel strider forces so far we, we haven't we, we're not finished yet but we have almost regressed the balance from that initial um, large loss we've uh, redressed the balance quite nicely oh the harasser took a few hits there i think so that's the long-nosed harasser With its missile firing. And we've got that's the our infrareds from um, an infrared version of the mine layer. And we have a two damaged. He is just on oh no, that's an aircraft that's on the runway. Harasser is doing another drop. The switchblade, does, is there something wrong with the switchblade? I'm going to take the switchblade out, I think, unfortunately. Um, I'll have a look at that at another time, I think. I'm going to uh, put the switchblade down here a bit. We'll see if we can get some more um, small fighters in. Let's, 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 get, let's, let's get all the Zergs in first. Um... Well, not that one. Let's put that. We'll, we'll get give the choppers another try as well. Because this seems to be heading downwards now, which is again good. Hasn't got advanced um, guns. Uh, what have we got here? This is a uh, Shostakovich. Now I'm hoping his guns are active. Let's go and have a quick look. Back in a second. Well, the Shostakovich's guns were not loading, so uh, solved that problem, uh, hopefully. So, uh, this one looks like he is actually going to be dying now. I'm not sure. He is trying to launch something here. Um, the Shostakovich, hopefully, will start firing once he's loaded his guns properly. Yep, yeah, you can see him firing the guns there, but it's not quite a good angle for him, unfortunately, there. He is taking a bit of damage there, though. Ooh. I thought I'd sorted out his guns, but obviously uh, a new update, and uh, that was it. Ooh, we're getting a lot of lag here. 
Possibly the uh, the shells in that Kost Shostakovich were a bit long and not using the solid version of the ammo clips and causing a bit of lag there. Right, we have a health below and sinking and that could well be... The main ship, yes, it's the main ship. He is being classed as sinking because he's below 80% health. Um, we've still got a lot of missiles coming in against him. That trident, nice design. So, okay, we'll just scare away a little bit from those vessels in case it is. We're getting a little bit of a frame lag from something here. Uh, as I say, could be the Shostakovich's uh, weaponry. Uh, had that with another vessel. It looks like we got ah, we got another harasser in. I need to ch sort out his weapon. So back in, back in a second, and we have a new ship in taking a bit of damage. Uh, what have we got here? Let's just check what we have. The Oracle. Haven't seen that before. Um, looks like a few missiles. Um, it's taking damage steadily. The Shostakovich is has been now that his weaponry is working, it's, it's taking a f better damage. Sorry, it's dealing out a, a bit of damage, and the chopper also came in and gave it a good little missile missile barrage. Unfortunately, it did get taken out by the looks of it, but did give a nice and it's got a final little barrage in there as well. Excellent, and we've had the harassers are coming in for their barrage as well. So uh, that's both good. So, oh, they must have hit something critical there. That must have been an AI hit. The way that suddenly just melted away. Or it hit something which was holding together a whole load of metal. Um, the way it's designed, it, it didn't have any backup. So it hit a key component and um, the whole thing just fell apart. Uh, I've seen that with a few ships actually. They they use spin blocks and other bits to get a shape, but you hit the spin block and you lose a good chunk of your ship, uh, which is not good. And we still got the mine layer is still coming in and dropping dropping shells, and that's the Shostakovich is dropping that in, uh, dropping in, that in quite nicely. Um, this is the, that's Carlos's. Um, uh, Flying vehicle. Um, Carlos did put in a few other um, other ships in the uh, sea fleet, and that's his um, air vehicle doing very well here. Once I'd sorted out the ammo, getting a, got a bit of a few hits, but not too bad. The the, the chopper. Uh, I think the chopper is finally gone. Uh, that's a disappointing. It's uh, it's still there though. He is surviving. He may may well just do enough to keep going. So we actually do have the advantage here slightly now on the uh, steel striders, but it is going to be close. We've we've got the advantage in blocks just minorly, but we are relying. These harassers have been the uh, like well, the harassers and actually the uh, mine layers have been the life of the party on this one here. So, it looks like we've got another one down. And now, oh, this could be interesting. We've got hornets, um, and that looks like raptors. This could be. This is a totally different battle now. This is an air-to-air -air battle. Uh, oh, Shostakovich there just took a serious wallop missile wallop from the uh, uh, hornets. So yes, this could be somewhat different. Um, unfortunately, this is what the flying castle was designed to fight against. Uh, we're going to have to see how the harassers and uh, do against these aircraft. Yeah. 
Oh, looks like they're getting a bit close to each other there. They'll have a gang up and we... Have we got a third one in here? I'm going to have to check that. Let me just check what we've got in, see if I need to adjust anything. So, uh, the... They have brought in another one of these uh, carriers. Yeah, Nularis. Nularis. So hopefully um, that will be good to get some damage out from um, the various ships because they are better on the ground targets than the air targets. The uh, Hornets have taken out a few of the smaller ships, unfortunately. They've uh, been quite good at, harass at uh, taking them out. But actually the chopper fired a load of missiles and did take one of them out in a good sweep. I just missed it. I saw the edge of it, uh, but didn't manage to uh, capture all of it. The uh, Where's the Shostakovich? Shostakovich, I think, took a lot of damage from um, a couple of passes, but has now repaired himself, which is good, and coming in for another go at this uh, ship. We have got one of the Hornets there, by the looks of it. It's still out there, uh, causing us a great aggravation. But we've definitely turned the tide from the, uh, the start we had. Oops, so it looks like we're going to night time again. Uh, we'll see what the uh, that's going to be like. The chopper here is is surviving in, and every now and again he's firing some missiles out at a target. They are trying to chase down the harassers, the uh, um, uh, hornets, but they do take a bit of damage every now and again and go a little crazy, like this one here is. You can see it there. Oh, nice little missile hit took him out. And that was enough, I think, yeah, he's he's basically toast, he is now. Uh, so that's a little bit of luck, but with those, some of them, it's a little bit of luck sometimes. Uh, there's another one still here, oh, it was spawned in by the carrier, I think that was another one that's been around for a bit. And they're, check they're trying to chase down the, the uh, harassers. And it's a bit of a fight between them, actually, between the harasser and the... Uh, uh, Hornet. Oh, the Shostakovich's guns is having a go at this, and there is a bit of a gun battle happening here now. The Hornet fired a shed load of missiles, but they didn't quite connect. Uh, but luckily, because there's multiple of them, the other Hornets also, sorry, the other harassers coming in for a go as well on this Hornet. It's interesting to see them try and take this out. I want to see how this this works, because this is always a problem. Fast jets. Uh, this, uh, this isn't a Hornet, actually. I think this is a Lynx, actually. It's, no, I can't quite. Oh, whatever it is, he's just been taken out. Uh, oh, it's a Raptor. I think he's just got hit in the engines. Just needs someone to uh, finish him off now. Right, what AI dead have we got? We've got an AI dead over here. I'm hoping it is that um, ship. So it looks like the Anulis finally did get taken out. Excellent. Let's see what we have next coming in. What are we going to have spawning in? And we have the next ship coming in. Looks like it is the carrier um, again, which had that... Uh, ah, the carrier's on a spin block. I see now. Okay. Um, took a little while to spawn in, and we it has got, got a Raptor out, but the Shostakovich has got a good missile shot out on it. And the harassers are coming around. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the other smaller ships around. And I have queued up the next one to come in. It's quite a large vessel, uh, hopefully. Uh, 
Oh, some nice shots coming in from multiple harasser. They've got some good shots in and they their missile barrage is also coming in. Although some of them seem to have gone for uh, a, a target over there, flares. Some of them, yeah, flares, that's the only problem. See, I like laser-guided missiles. I must admit, I'm a laser-guided missile person, really. See, that coming. Nice missiles straight down the gullet from the Shostakovich. Laser missiles, definitely, I wouldn't say for the win, but definitely having a, a, a positive effect. Maybe having a slight problem. So basically, we got the harassers and we have the dread worm. Okay, this is from Ben the Daddy. Now, Ben, I know you say called Ben, but I'm pretty sure I can get your name right as long as I read it correctly. So he did. He had previously um, provided a red kite, which didn't really work. But this is I like big gun at the bottom, which I also like. Let's just make sure that everything is on. Yes, it is. He has a big gun and it has missiles and lots of other little bits and pieces. So it's coming in quite nicely and I like the shape. It's, it's basically it's a flying tower. Um, I have sort of started doing these in the past myself. And the um, Anularis is now dead as well so just as the worm fires its missiles i'm guessing that's the long range missiles now let me just check something to make sure these are getting ammo now uh, same as the latest patch i'm up to one um uh can't remember 1.76 or 76 i think it is now um 1.876 anyway it, obviously it had broken we've got another analaris in but he now has his um main Gatling gun at the cannon at the bottom at least now is loading or should be Come on say you're loading say you're loading say you're loading come on. I think it's possibly got auto loaders um, so No shell loaded. I think it's possibly we'll have to see if it will load the gun. I can hear it loading. Something is loading. Yeah, squash head. So they are loading. You can see they are loading. But uh, I think I'm going to have to wait for them to fully... Uh, he's used... Because they are belt-fed. I think he's used belt-fed loaders in all of these. I've got to wait for them to fully load before it will start firing. Ah, such is life. Um, an interesting one that I've done is a mixture. There's no say you have to have all belt-fed. You could put some normal loaders in where you're belt-fed. It means although firing at a lower rate it will continue to fire in this sort of situation. It would still fire as it loaded effectively, although slower, and then once the auto loaders are, are loaded up, it would fire its continuous burst. So that's always a, a possible change I've looked at myself in, my, uh, in some of the uh, higher end um, Gatling style of gun, or multi-cannon. Multi so it's down to the others, unfortunately. You're not going to get... You're firing your missiles, but you're not going to get highlights today with that nice cannon. It would be nice to see that going, um, I must admit. It would be a... Once that's loaded, that will rip things apart. Well, it looks like... The amount of missiles is going to take out this last uh, Analaris. 
and that should be the end of the battle. Oh, looks like, uh, sorry Ben, but uh, yeah, yeah, a few shots took the bottom of this gun, this system off. It looks like it, it actually did manage to hit your turret uh, component. And uh, that's always a risk with this style of uh, ship. So uh, that's a whole chunk of metal that's uh, basically it hit an ammo block, as you can see, I'm reckoning. It hit an ammo clip and blew the whole of the turret off. Hmm. Yep, yep. A little unfortunate, that. But it happens. Okay, that's it. The last ship, I believe. Let's just check. Is there anything else? There's no red boxes left. So, excellent. Okay. Um, right. Well, let's... I leveled up as well. Right, so, yeah. Uh, now, actually, I'm just suddenly thinking, I'm not sure whether my air castle was actually loaded with ammo. Um, so, I think that could be... It didn't... Because I didn't see it fire a shot from the very beginning. So, there is a good chance that something in the latest patch had broken all of the guns. So, I'm going to have to go through the air castle and all of the wet... All of the vehicles again to see and make sure that their their weapons are loading such is life in alpha but okay um generally we took the zone which is good um it sh it showed some good i i quite enjoyed that it showed some um good um work from some of the ships um we some good designs there. Uh, we saw some good uh, use of fast ships. I quite, as I said, I liked the uh, the small ships, the mine layers, and the um, uh, the bombers. Whoops, just lost that there. Uh, I I liked all of those. I thought they they worked well in little ships we're, we're missing a lot of them in this list here but it doesn't matter i'll i'll reproduce for whatever reason it's decided to uh, delete them totally rather than use a leave a blueprint but that's fine i will um, reproduce them uh, where necessary i'll p potentially i think i'll give i'm going to check all of the weapons on all of the guns sorry all of the ammo loaders on all of the guns on all of the ships because i think a lot of these vehicles didn't even get a chance to fire a shot um, until I get a chance to go in there and check. Uh, so that doesn't help. I mean, for instance, the Dreadworm, if that had been started firing when it loaded in, I think that would have been a different story. Same with the Air Castle. I think if the Air Castle had actually been loaded when it um, uh, came into battle, it might have lasted a little bit longer, although it wasn't good that it turned its back on the enemy. Not a good, not a good thing for it. But hey-ho, that's life. Yeah, crap happens. So, that's the um, air fleet. Next, we'll be taking in the ship fleet again. We'll be going in against this 449 um, um, here, and we'll be then take the air fleet into the 320 again once I've sorted out all their weaponry. Uh, we'll take them into this 449 here. Um, them into the 320 and then we'll possibly get possibly all of them uh, with a little support um, going against this 894 and well, I'm gonna maybe see just how big a battle we can get going um, up the up the block count get all the different ships in and just see if we can have a, a big massive brawl in this 894 rather than a long one uh, a long battle I'm just going to see how many blocks maybe put it up to like a 30 or 35,000 block uh, battle to just get more ships flying in at the same time and we'll bring in everything we've used previously including the reserve fleet in for that but that'd be my plan I think at the moment uh, subject to any other little little items and then I'll, I'm gonna have to go and finish off some of these other squares um, later on once we've taken over this portion here which was the main plan at this start uh, to get to this point 
uh, with the subscriber ships. So, hopefully it was, in, uh, I'd say enjoyable, enlightening how different ships work. Um, I'm going to give it another go because I do really think that the latest patch, I'm not going to redo this video, but I, I think the latest patch mostly broke a few of the guns, which was a little unfair to those which were gun armed and didn't really get a chance to uh, uh, get the full damage out. I'm also going to do the same for all of the ships before next time, before they go into battle, I will check all of the guns and just make sure that they are ready to fire as best they can. Uh, before they go into battle because uh, as I say there's something not quite right on some of these uh, these vessels um, pity that but hey that's Balfa I keep on saying it but it's true things change it's great we're getting changes sometimes it breaks the game so until next time as always click that like button I like being liked I always say that, but it's true. I love your comments. Leave your comments down below. I like answering your comments. There's some very good points come up, and I'll always try and answer anybody's question as best I can, um, or point them to somewhere where they can get the information if it comes to it. You know that what's next? Keep playing the game. Submit um, your items into the uh, Steam Workshop if you have st still something left. Got plenty of time left. Um, but above all, have fun.